Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna to continue to explore the strange and unexpected world of restaurants. That sounds exciting. That was good. That, that's almost good enough for cable. Yeah, yeah. I'm destined for cable. <laughs> Let's give $1,000 to the National Immigration Law Center to aid in their mission to defend and advance the rights and opportunities of low-income immigrants and their family members. NILC engages in policy analysis, litigation, education, and advocacy to achieve their goals. Please join us in giving at nilc.org slash donate. Was that good enough for cable? That's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough for satellite. I can go satellite? You can go satellite. Dish? Yeah, dish. You can go dish with that delivery. That's gonna be on dish. <clears throat> so these are what, Stevie? These are celebrity-owned restaurants. Oh, celebrity-owned restaurants. Like Guy Fieri's. I could Fieri's. be lying about them. I could Jimmy be Buffett. telling you the truth, and you have to guess which one. Are you just listing celebrities? I'm listing celebrity restaurants so far. Oh. Margaritaville. Mm. Flavor Town. No, 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 nothing that obvious on this list. Trust me. Okay. Spin is an international network of ping pong social clubs founded by Susan Saranda that serve bar food like nachos, burgers, and pizza, and a whole lot of ping pong. I think not. Hold on, hold Susan on. Susan Saranda and ping pong? First of all, I like that, the idea of that. How does that work? International ping pong restaurant, Susan Saranda. It's, that's, like a, that's like you just threw a bunch of words in a bucket and then just like... Just, whoops, it spilt. Sarandon keeps you guessing, though. I've always said that about her. What does she do? Well, she's an actor. Okay. Yeah. An activist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Okay. And a ping pong player. <laughs> All right, let's find out. Yeah, it's real. There's one, or at least there used to be one at the Standard downtown LA. So that's how A I ping knew pong about table? It. Spin, uh, the, the restaurant. It's like this whole floor that's like, Designed and it has ping pong tables everywhere, and then there's like a full bar and food. I've been thinking about getting back into ping pong or getting into ping pong for the first time. Uh, we were into ping pong in uh, middle school. eighth grade because we would leave school and we'd go over to the. But we weren't really into I mean, student we union. We didn't for learn the university. There were it's no YouTube videos we would play to like, learn pong. learn how to spin it and it's cool stuff. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So can you look up and see? Can y'all look and see if there is one of these? And I can go meet Sarand in there. Um, it was founded in 2009. There's 10 locations across the U.S. and Canada. Wow. And, uh, oh, and, and we have a video of Susan Sarandon playing ping pong. <gasps> I learned this from the Harlem Globetrotters. She looks horrible. The way whoa, she whoa, hit whoa. the ball. I know it's a bit, but like. Hold on. What did you just say about Sarandon? I meant. You mean at ping pong. She looks horrible at ping pong. Well, like you should have clarified. Her, her form. Well. I mean, she wasn't playing. This uh, the setup was wrong. It was a bit. It was a bit. Yeah. Is she? Yeah, is, but she still could have hit the ping pong ball like she knew how to do it. I, like, I find the people who are best at ping pong look like they're constantly about to lose control. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't have it under control. That is what makes it deceptively uh, awesome. Who's? Is it? there a spin in LA still? No. It does not look like it. Ooh. That's good. Is That's there good. another ping pong restaurant? <laughs> Yeah, there's a competition for that niche area. Yeah. Highway to Hell is a pub founded by ACDC co-founder and guitarist Angus Young. Well, this certainly makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. Customers can stop in for hell-themed dishes like Satan sliders and cayenne-encrusted rim hot pints. Mm -hmm. Rim hot pints. <laughs> rim hot pints. Here's the thing. I believed you until you started describing the dishes. Because here's the thing about ACDC, Angus... He like he, he would go along with this, but he would never be like, "Yeah, we're actually gonna start like making the dishes cute." He would be like, "Oh no, uh -uh. no." I I just don't think he was interested. In, he was interested enough to start it, but he wasn't interested enough to weigh in on the menu. So I think this is real. It's fake. Mm, oh. Dang, like, you're having a tough time. But he's really in fake restaurants. Mm. Got caught up on the rim. Mm-hmm. Mm. It happens. Made too much sense. Should have known. Audrey's Coffee House is a coffee shop started by married reality stars Ashley Ian Cotty and Jared Hypon, 
who met on Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> Anyone going to correct me on how to say no those one, names? No one, no. Uh-uh. They serve drinks named in homage to the show, such as the most dramatic mocha ever. Oh, okay. Now, this is potentially dicey legal territory, right? Because just because they were on this show doesn't mean they gain the right to allude to it in a business venture, right? But it's not in the name. Yeah, but that dish was called what? The most what? Dramatic? Dramatic. I, mean, I guess. I, I guess. I guess they thought they were on a reality that. show. I just don't think he would make this up if it wasn't real. Where is it? We don't. Have that I didn't say. We don't have that information. Mm. I mean, it might be real. So they met on a sh- on a reality show. I got. I don't have any more info other than what I just read. Because yeah. there is, and then none. the reveal. There is no more info. There is. It's real. It's real. It's named after Ashley's mother, Audrey. You can visit Audrey's coffee house in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Wow. What a cute couple. Just hair for days. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Just r- winning smiles. You know? Wow. Rhode Island. <laughs> I bet you they fight. Boy, I bet you they fight. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think is usually wrong? Him. <laughs> And yeah. he and he knows it. Yeah, yeah he yeah. admits it. Yeah, she's in charge. I mean, look into his eyes and look into her eyes. You know who's in charge. Yeah, that's true. That's true. She's, Everything he does is what she tells him to do. She's holding the donut, so to speak. You know what I she's mean? She's holding the donut. She's holding the donut in the relationship. Yeah, yeah. He's holding the coffee, which makes it seem like you're like doing something for somebody. Right. If you're she, holding the donut, you're eating it. If you're holding the coffee, you're holding it for somebody I've never else. seen. I've never seen their show, but like she can get angry. <laughs> I kind of think I'd like to watch her get angry. Wait, this is not on your list of reality shows, Rhett, that you watch, Bachelor in Paradise? No, but it might be now. What's the, but you watch The Bachelor. Bachelor in Paradise is just a spinoff. I've watched one season, or not even one season. I watched a few episodes of it's Bachelor in Paradise. It's not trashy enough for and him. It, and, no, Bachelor in Paradise was like, ah. Listen, I went all the way to Milf Manor and then turned around. So, uh, actually, watching when you get to Milf Manor, you've gone too far. Yeah, hang a Yui, come on back. Forty-five to functioning minutes, society. Well, Thirty-five minutes into the first episode of Milf Manor, did something to my reality show loving part of my brain, and I haven't watched anything. Like Jesse was trying to get me to watch The Bachelor, and I was like, I just can't do it right now. Uh, you got burnt. Something's recovering within my brain right now. But you're not saying what it is because you don't want to spoil it for people. No, he talked it's about it's inappropriate on, on, on our oh, podcast. Oh, Milf Manor. Yeah, I talk, do you, Oh, you don't know about this? I don't know about. Okay, the... I'm going to give you. I'm going to take 15 seconds of your okay. time. Yeah. It is a bunch of milfs and a bunch of young guys, like literally like 20 year olds, on a dating show, and then the fir- the reveal halfway through the first and episode. They're, they're they're hooking up. Is that? All the ki- all the boys are sons of the women. Oh, that's a re- they don't know that they, they each know th- they find that out. They know who their they moms find are. Find that out on the show, and so it's a. They bunch didn't know of they were both showing hot up the moms same show. and their sons all dating each other. Wow! And Cody Co has made a like a series of commentary videos about every episode because. I mean, when, I mean, he, he, he didn't struck stop. gold. He didn't turn around. He didn't he turn around. He struck gold, and every episode is about how he just can't believe they're continuing to outdo themselves. And um, yeah, it's not good for his health. So just watch Cody Co's commentary on Milk Manor rather than the actual show. Okay, I'm not gonna do either thing. Something else you should watch: a um, uh, hot dog is a sandwich. It's Josh and Nicole's food debate podcast. Wherever you get your podcasts, including on its own YouTube channel. Find out if pork is really red meat, and other things that you're gonna learn. No, nope, the podcast is, is only about pork now. That's one episode. Yeah, yeah. Clarify. Fifth Period oh. is a kitschy high school themed bar featuring drinks named after school subjects started by former Saved by the Bell star, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Oh. Mm, I don't, I don't think so. Only, and there's nothing wrong with this. I'm just saying that when I heard fifth period, that wasn't the first thing I thought. You just thought about menstruation? Right. Okay. You hear the. And there's nothing wrong. I'm not like, I'm not like, hey, oh, you got to like 
like in the book of Leviticus, like you don't have to like go outside of the town when you're on your period. Like that's, we don't have to do that anymore. I'm not saying that. You're not unclean, you know, you're not unclean, but it's not the first thing that you want on your mind when you're thinking about lunch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just, it just. Nope. So I think this would be, I think this would be bad marketing. There was a Saved by the Bell themed pop-up restaurant here in LA. Um, it wasn't and, called Fifth Period. No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it's fake. And it looked like, <laughs> so I was going to tell so you. So it looked like the Max, and that's why I knew this was fake because there was. I agree. I agree. Having period in the in the title of the restaurant. Fifth period. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But bus and burrito, a ghost kitchen operation orderable on Postmates okay. and DoorDash, then serving yes. burritos named in homage to Gen Z, like the Riz and No Cap. Created by influencer Cameron Dallas sounds like a great yeah. idea. It it had yes yeah. Here's another opportunity for an, an another endorsement of a fellow creator's channel, Eddie Burback. You should watch Eddie Burback's uh, Ghost Kitchen rundown video expose, where it just kind of talks all about ghost kitchens and why. Yes, indeed, if there is not a Cameron Dallas bus and burrito, there very easily could be because it's a hop, skip, and a jump away. For real. Spoiler alert, all of the burgers at Mr. Beast Burger are made out of the people who leave the circle too early. Oh. <laughs> We're saying real. I also thought it was real until I looked down slightly and it's fake. You look downed. Oh, 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 oh you're, you're so proud of yourself, Brittany. You got us. Is she taunting <laughs> us? She's taunting us. Did she do this? <laughs> well, she did the, the version of that that we could see above the monitor. It was more like this. <laughs> yeah, it was that what it was. Nellie's Southern Kitchen is a North Carolina restaurant owned by the Jonas Brothers and serves chicken and waffles, fried catfish, and Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. Why they named it, named it for Nellie? I know. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. I, and I know so it's not. So order Nelly, up some fish. Well, no, Nelly has a Cheerios restaurant. N e l l i e. Nelly has a che Cheerios restaurant. Jonas All the Cheerios that you want. It seems like we would know about a jo Jonas Brothers restaurant in, in North, North Carolina. Carolina. I didn't. Are they from North Carolina? I didn't think I they were. I'm gonna feel bad if that's true and I didn't know it. This is not. Yeah, this is not true. I pride myself on my Jonas Brothers trivia. But you're saying it is true. Uh, no. Say it's true, man. Do it. I want to say it's true because it feels like you don't think you could be wrong. Uh, no, I was wrong on the last one. Then I'd be right by being wrong. Uh, I think it's true because it's why would they name it Nellie's? It's just a weird thing. To it's make their grandma's up. name. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's named after their great grandmother, Nellie Jonas. Where is it? Uh, and it opened in June 2022. It looks like it's in the middle of a. Oh, warehouse. sorry, June 2022. They opened a second location at the MGM Grand. Uh, where is it in North Carolina? Do we know? Hmm. Well, I need to find this. This why is it? Well, that's at the MGM. Because that's Vegas. my grandma. That was my grandma's name. <gasps> Are you related to the? Jones? And also Link's grandmother's name. <gasps> no, yeah, they're I'm both right. named Nell. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they called my grandmother Nellie. Belmont, Belmont, North Carolina. I guess they're from Belmont. Did you know they're from Belmont? Can you look this up? Didn't know that. The Jonas Brothers are from North Carolina. Where are the JBs from? You know where Belmont is? Uh, Belmont College is there, Belmont, right? Belmont College is in Tennessee. No, no, no. Um, it's like a little bit west of Charlotte. Yep. Yeah, it, it's like yeah, a it's suburb not, it's of not Charlotte. It's not Belmont College, that's right. That, it's They're a from little New town. Jersey. Didn't your brother live in Belmont? Outside of he lived in Matthews. Matthews. Oh, their dad is from North Carolina. But Whack they off grew up New, in New Jersey. Jersey. They're from Whack Off, New Jersey. Yeah. Mm hmm. They are. Okay. Let's keep going. We're learning right, a lot. Right. Uh, I don't have any more. Oh, that's um, disappointing. Just can make you, one up. Can you make one up and we'll tell you if it's real or not? <laughs> yeah. See, you fooled us, but you ran out of steam. Find out if pork is really a red meat on a hot dog as a sandwich. Josh and Nicole's podcast. Everywhere you get your podcasts.